Good evening. I am Teresa Rosen, Assistant Principal at Richfield High School. Before we begin tonight's ceremony, I have a few reminders I would like to share with you. Tonight is an important night for you and our graduating seniors. To show respect for this important ceremony, we ask that you turn off your cell phone, remain seated during the processional, do not approach the stage to take pictures during the, during the ceremony, and be respectful of the students during the awarding of diplomas. It is important that each student's name is heard when it is announced. We also ask that at the conclusion of this evening's ceremony, that you would allow for our students to process together one more time down the center aisle and out the doors through a tunnel of teachers. In order for that to happen, we will be asking that you would remain in your seats until the students and the seniors have left as graduates from this ballroom. Thank you. Joining us for this evening's ceremony are the members of the school board, our school superintendent, and our assistant superintendent. Please join me in welcoming Christine Malik, school board chair, Crystal Brocky, vice chair, Dr. Timothy Paulus, treasurer, John Ashmead, clerk, Paula Cole, director, and Peter Tenzing, director. Also on stage with us this evening is Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Ledrian Roby. Superintendent, Steve Yunowski. And President of Normandale Community College, Dr. Joyce Esther. We ask that you now please direct your attention to the back of the auditorium and join me in welcoming the Richfield High School faculty, staff, and other Richfield High School officials led by Principal Latanya Daniels and Assistant Principal Eric Paulson.
Now, I present to you the Richfield High School Class of 2017. Good evening. My name is LaTanya Daniels, and I'm the principal of Richfield High School. Honored guests, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Unowski, Dr. Roby, Dr. Dr. Esther, faculty and staff, parents, friends, and graduates. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2017. Thank you for your attendance this evening and for the great support you show our school and its students. Would you please stand to join the Richfield Concert Choir under the direction of Kevin Erickson in honoring our country with singing the national anthem.
Thank you. Before we begin this evening's program, I would like to take a moment and recognize the contributions of many people who make this night possible. Please hold your applause until after the, after the following people have been recognized. Julie Hayek, my secretary for organizing every detail that goes into this evening's ceremony. Assistant principals Eric Paulson and Teresa Rosen for their constant support and leadership at RHS. The support staff in various offices who helped Julie and ensured seniors and staff had what they needed for tonight to happen. The many teachers on our graduation committee, the RHS choir and Kevin Erickson, the RHS band and Elizabeth Winslow. And finally, I would like to thank all Richfield High School faculty and staff and any past or present Richfield Public School staff. And I would like you to stand. Any past or present Richfield High School staff. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your commitment to to the education of all of our students and all you've done to get our graduates to this point. To the class of 2017, you have successfully made it to your final destination in your K-12 experience, but you did not arrive here alone. You had support from your parents, teachers, counselors, social workers, support staff, therapists, and friends. You've created many memories together over the years, you've done so much together, and you've also made noteworthy accomplishments. But this is the ultimate celebration for the cumulative work you've done over the last 13 years. As you leave the halls and walls of Richfield High School, don't settle for mediocrity. Remember the memories you've created, but create better memories moving ahead. Work hard and be great. No, everyone will not like you or your social media posts. But you will, be, you will live and you will be stronger and more resilient as a result of it. Your future is now in your hands and you can conquer anything you are truly passionate about. I am deeply proud of this class and I congratulate each of you on ending your journey here but beginning a bigger and better future ahead. Again, congratulations, class of 2017. The Richfield High School Choir, directed by Kevin Erickson, and the Richfield High School Band, directed by Elizabeth Winslow, will now perform musical tributes to honor the class of 2017. Look back. 
Good evening, and welcome, and congratulations to the class of 2017. This is probably my favorite thing that I get to do all year, and that is to introduce tonight's student speakers for you. These students submitted speeches. They were read through by a committee of teachers, and their following two presenters' speeches were selected to be given tonight. First, I'd like to introduce Larry Alexis Lopez Servin. Larry has achieved more than he thought he would in the past four years, and more than he would have ever imagined. He was part of probably more than half the clubs in Richfield, but some of the ones that stuck out for him were DECA, theater, glow, and color guard. He enjoyed the time he got to spend here at RHS and will be moving on to Augsburg Co Wait, it'll actually be Augsburg University this fall. Let's give it up for Larry Alexis Lopez Servan. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Good afternoon, my fellow class of 2017. Before I say anything else, I want to say, y'all, we made it. I think we deserve a round of applause here. Come on! <laughs> when I first started writing my speech, I was thinking, why would I ever do that? <laughs> I know that I can speak in front of a crowd, but when I'm sitting in front of my whole class, their family, friends, teachers, and many more people, <laughs> I thought maybe this wasn't the best idea. I started reading my speech to myself so that I could get it right and not embarrass myself in front of all of you. But then I started thinking of my former graduate speakers, Jesse Anderson, Robson Ali, and many other people who used their words not only to speak to everyone, but to touch their hearts as their emotions were vivid on this stage. My own emotions might be displayed in the next few minutes as I reflect on what gratitude means to me. I see hundreds of faces here as I survey the room, and I'm guessing some of these faces belong to your parents. However, I don't see my own parents. They are not present right now. They are actually both in Mexico. My father was deported almost one year ago, which left me on my own. <laughs> While he was here, I didn't appreciate him. And I look back now, and I just want to kick myself. He was one of my biggest supporters, whether it was at a choir concert, a show for theater, or just another concert for band. <laughs> for a marching band. <laughs> he was there for me. He tried his best to be the best father that I could have, and I want to apologize to him for not seeing that until now. I talk about him and my mom because I look around the room and I see all of these wonderful parents. I'm so grateful for my parents and everything that they have done for me. And I want you all right after this graduation to give them a big hug. <laughs> because we have to be real. We don't know how long we have on this planet. <laughs> Estamos en tiempo prestado, as my mom says, which means we are on borrowed time. We need to appreciate what we have right now. We need to be grateful to our parents, our siblings, our friends, our teachers, and everyone who has helped us get to this moment. In the very near future for many of us, we will be living on our own, and we won't have our parents nearby. And I know what many of you are thinking right now. God, I hate my parents. <laughs> But guess what? They don't care. <laughs> they will love you either way and will send all of their loving as you embark on your new journey. The first week when my father was deported, 
I really had nothing. <laughs> nothing was gone physically, but I didn't have anything. <laughs> I didn't care about any material objects, and I started to learn more and more about this new life that I would lead. It doesn't matter what we have, and it's such a corny lesson for us to learn, but at some point in our lives, we will understand. This moment came a little sooner than I would have hoped for myself. In this life, it does not matter what we own or how expensive something is. That's never going to matter. What really does matter in our lives are the people around us, our friends and families, teachers, even our enemies. Be grateful that you have them around you and that they have stuck to you up to this point. I'm so fortunate to have just an amazing family that offered me a roof during such a terrible time. And I had friends as well. Many of them offered me more than a roof, though, and they offered me a shoulder to lean on. I think, that one of the, I think that's one of the greatest things to have, and that is something that we should all remember as we continue on from here. If we have these people in our lives, then it has really all been worth it. And if you don't have people like that, then go find some new friends. <laughs> that's what the next portion of our lives are for, to really find ourselves and to find the people who really do care for us. Now, before I finish up, I want to encourage you. It is up to us to change the future that we want to see tomorrow. Whether you grew up to be a politician, an athlete, a scientist, a mechanic, anything, work to be the best damn person in your work field. Over the years, we have learned that this world can push us down, and it has. But no matter how much it pushes us down, we will always rise up. Make sure you remember where you came from and who was there for you, because in the near future, I know that they will be there for you too. And it's, an okay, for, it's okay to forget some things, but dang, don't go and forget everything. <laughs> Enjoy the next years of your lives and make even more amazing more men memories so at the 20-year reunion you can tell all of us about it. <laughs> Thank you all for listening and remember that we are the class to overcome everything. We may procrastinate, but we get it done. <laughs> class of 2017, thank you. Kyle Odafi. Kyle's been in Richfield School District since kindergarten and has loved every second of it. For the past four years, Kyle's been active in creating school-wide video productions that capture the creativity and diversity of Richfield High School. He's been a driving force of the RHS Theater Department, being credited as the best male actor at RHS for the 2016-2017 school year. He also took charge as one of the captains of the RHS boys swim team and dive team after being on the team for over six years. He's been a participant in both the 2016 and 2017 swimming state championships and is an avid backstroker and freestyler. In his free time, Kyle is a writer and graphic design artist. He has also edited countless film projects, hoping someday to get into filmmaking business in either California or New York. Kaya will be attending Minnesota State University Moorhead in the fall of 2017. Let's give it up for Kaya Odafi. Thank you. Oh boy, here we go. Thanks, Mr. Paulson. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Let me start off by saying the usual graduation nonsense just to get it over with. Congratulations, we're graduating high school. Give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, good. Glad I got that stuff out of the way. The past four years in high school have been an unusual and exciting experience that I will cherish for the next couple of years very deeply. Part of me holds sorrow to say goodbye to this wonderful, diverse class. However, part of me is excited to move on to bigger and better things. I hate to use an analogy, as they seem to be the strategy most graduation speakers use, but here's, this is my speech, so here it goes. As many of you know, sorry, as all of you know, I love filmmaking. The editing, the directing, the writing, acting, all of that. It's my lifeline, the thing that infuses me with life every day. Why does this process have a call in my life? Well, I don't really know. I've loved it since I was five or six, and the passion has continued since then. 
So with that, I bet you can guess what my analogy is, right? Our lives are like one big movie? Wrong. We aren't the movie itself. That's where I think many of us get it wrong. Instead, we are actually the script, the part of the movie we don't get to see. We'll start with the first empty page of the script. The page is where the story begins, where we're born. We're unsure about what's ahead or what the story is going to be like, but we've met our main character. We know something is going to happen to them. From that point on, the script sometimes moves quickly or paces itself based on the factors that are most important to the story. Let's call the most important parts the memories we have and share. These memories can either be good or bad, and depending on the situation, these factors can stay with the script up until the very end. For many, these factors add to the character and what they believe in. Now, the characters in the script give life. They add to the world we visualize by bringing in their own thoughts and ideas, once again, either good or bad. Some are friends and some are enemies. They can influence the main character or harm them, which in turn adds new experiences and adventures for the main character to follow. Now, I've had my fair share of characters in my story, from the friends I made all over the world to the enemies who tried to bring me down, I've seen it all. Each friend, foe, teacher, and passerby is a character in my story. In the script, each interaction matters, from the most influential to the smallest encounter. They all add something different in the script of life. A character from my script is my mother, who passed away when I was nine years old. She was 40 when she passed away from colon cancer on a fairly sunny Monday morning. For the months that followed, I struggled with grief and sorrow for the mother I lost, as if I was in some sort of state of depression or confusion. This stuck with me until I realized I had to keep moving forward, to keep doing the things that I did best on this earth and to make her proud. This part of my life is one of the biggest factors of my script. It's a part of me that's going to live on with me for the rest of my life. The last thing I want to talk about are blank pages. Guess what? Today is the start of those unwritten pages. Today is the day where we begin a new scene. Whether graduation means the world to you or nothing at all, then we're, we're beginning to write the next script, the next scene of your script. And after today, the script continues. It won't stop until your last breath, your last day. How many pages do you have until then? No one knows. The script is the bare bones of an entire film. It showcases the story, the characters, and what happens where or when, but it doesn't write itself. It's up to you to come up with that. The, your script is the story of your life, written just how you want it to be written. You have complete control of it, so make it the best script ever. Make it one with exciting twists and turns. Make it have love and romance. Make it be daring and courageous. But most importantly, make it yours. Because one day, someone could take the script you've written and maybe turn it into a movie. Wouldn't that be special? Again, congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. On a personal note, I had the great opportunity to spend some time in, uh, and work with Kyle's mom as she was a wonderful teacher for Richfield Public Schools. So um, I appreciate the time I got to spend with her also. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Ledrian Roby, Assistant Superintendent of Richfield Public Schools. Greetings to our parents, grandparents, family, friends, guests, and to the class of 2017. Congratulations. You have shown your commitment to your future, and we are all very proud of you. This is an exciting time in your life. You've de demonstrated your academic ability and your perseverance. I am honored to share just a few words of encouragement and tips for continuing on in your successes. I thought long and hard about some life lessons that you'll learn along the way. And I've narrowed it down to five tips that I wanna take a few moments to share. Number one, freedom is bittersweet. 
Everyone, everyone cannot wait until they're an adult. You have the opportunity to make your own decisions, but freedom can be a really great feeling, but you have to watch it. Freedom can be deceptive. It can trick you. It can convince you, oh, I can skip class. I can call in late for work. One day, it won't matter. Missing one day won't hurt, or I'll finish that later. After all, when you're an adult and you have freedom, there's no one to lecture you, punish you, or to keep you after school for detention. I want to caution you. Yep, freedom allows you to go to new places, meet interesting people, and new experiences, and experience new things. But freedom can quickly trick you and cause you to lose control. Two, your parents are smarter than you think. Come on, parents. Many of the things that your parents have tried to teach you will finally register as you begin your adult life. Many of their sayings that play over and over and over in your mind, these are some of the things that you may have heard before. You reap what you sow. When it rains, it pours. Everything happens for a reason. Y'all have heard some of these. Money does not, do, does not grow on trees. The grass is always greener on the other side. Yep, you may think that some of these sayings are outdated cliches, they're whack, they're corny, but if you, when you start to listen to your vo parents' voices, they'll come ringing in your ear time after time and you'll realize the wisdom of their advice. And for the record, Money don't grow on trees. <laughs> Number three, never be afraid to recreate yourself. There are certain milestones in life where you get a chance to start over. Graduation is one of those transitions. High school students transitioning on to college or the workforce, college students transitioning on to careers, all of those are kind of considered fresh starts. Class of 2017, you are beginning a new phase a new you. If you were not a strong high school student, guess what? You can be a strong college one. If you barely made it out of college, guess what? Once you get your very first job, no one's gonna care what your GPA was. It's about what type of employee, colleague, person you are. Do you demonstrate dedication, loyalty? Are you a team player? Related to recreating yourself, number four, mistakes are inevitable. This may feel like an odd thing to say at graduation, at a graduation celebration, but you're gonna make the wrong mistakes and the wrong choices from time to time. We all do. But learn to embrace your mistakes. And what I mean from that, learn from, there's a lesson in those mistakes. Reflect on what you can improve on and what you will do differently. And while the wrong decision can change your life forever, most mistakes will not be the end of the world. As a matter of fact, some of the most important discoveries have come from mistakes. Spencer Silver, a scientist at 3M, he was trying to develop a stronger glue. Instead, he created a glue that was weaker. And of course, Spencer was disappointed. Another scientist discovered that the glue was great for sticking notes onto a book because they could easily be removed. And that's how post-it notes were formed. Other examples of mistakes, nonstick pans, silly putty, penicillin, potato chips, the microwave, pacemaker, and even Coca-Cola. Remember this, a mistake sometimes is a test. The lesson is what you learn from it and that can lead to something really amazing. Number five. Last but not least, remember that success is personal. You can't judge it for others and don't let others judge it for you. While you may think going on to college may be the next step for some, finding a job is commendable for others. Money is not everything. 
And often we admire lawyers and doctors, athletes and celebrities, but there's much to be said about regular folk just like us in this room. There are plenty of role models that will come after us by the work that you see every day. Focus on quality versus quantity. Focus on what brings your life happiness. Most of all, does your life choices allow you to have peace? That's the definition of success. Finally, continue to challenge yourself and evolve to become a better person than you are today. Be positive, be active in your community. Give more than you ask for return. Grow stronger in your convictions and your faith. Be more disciplined and be the better friend. I know each of you has the potential to positively impact the world and the communities that you serve. I look forward to learning more about your future successes. Congratulations, class of 2017, and God bless. I am proud to share that each student who will be called to the stage to receive their diploma has officially completed all the requirements for graduation as outlined by the Richfield Board of Education and the state of Minnesota. It is time for the awarding of the diplomas. Abdi Nasir Mushir Abdul Salam. Diab Ahmed. Joseph Roberto Aldaco. Adnan Mohammed Ali. Dejan Wardell Allen. Hermela Faisal. Oscar Alvarado Herrera. Nanina Edel Alwan. Hania Sharon Yawa Amiji. Winnie Bosibori Amenya. Jonathan Amigan Gonzalez. Aaron Carl Anderson. Chase Ryan Androff. Jabari A. Adin. Alexander Joseph Avery. Alondra Ayala. Hadia Ibrahim Bakar. Genesis Excel Balinas Mendez. Brandon Bandit. Luis David Becerra Cando. Amber Brooke Berg. Rachel Lee Beal. Kylie Quinn Bigger. Mark Delbert Bingman, Jr. Aman K. Blaylark. Simone Renee Blue. Jack Chase Bowers. Audrey Desiree Bravo. 
Janelle Briones Salgado. Jennifer Briones Cortez. Macy Lauren Brook. Sierra Alia Brown. Shioka Tiara Buchanan. Jennifer Burgos Perez. Shayla Ramia Nelson Byron. Eduardo Cardenas. Erica Sitlali Cardoso Montanes. Levante Ilanzo Carlisle. Nicholas Richard Christian. Syrah Joanna Cielo Pliego. Samantha Jean Clements. Xavier Lamont Coakley. Janavia Samir Cook Bay. Alexander James Paul Cyrus. Nathan, Daggett, Nathan Robert Daggett. Amal Omar Dakane. Christina Naline Divangsa. Adib Delgado Martinez. Riley Nicole Dillon. Giselle Dominguez Guzman. Cindy Dominguez Sanchez. Stormy Raylin Duroff. Martavis James Douglas Wade. Carly Michaela Dowell. Stephanie Rachel Durazno Pineda. Evan Lawrence Eckholm. Jamaica Donzel Irvin. Esteban Esquivel Martinez. Jonathan Lee Evans. Jamie Joy Farr. Yesenia Claribel Flores. Zachary James Folk. Abigail Marie Friedrich. Carter Henry Gabrielson. <laughs> Becky Gadea Sanchez. <laughs> Ana Lizette Galvan Castillo. <laughs> Martin Gana Hernandez. <laughs> Alondra Zuhe Garcia. <laughs> Stacy Espinoza Garcia. Adan Yair Garcia Castanela. Esmeralda Garcia Pacheco. Mylia Angelique Johnson Ganyer. Shantia Jessica Gonzalez. Natalie Evelyn Hagen. Randy J. Ham. Peter Nathan Hamilton. Brianna Lachey Harmon. Nadira Davy Harold. Jake Michael Hartke. Hamsa Mohammed Hassan. Ashley Jasmine Hernandez. Selena Tania Hernandez Marquez. Joseph Anthony Harold. 
Devin Timothy Richard Hicks. Rachel Mary Hinton. Wait, we're just we're waiting a little bit. We're pausing for photos for a minute. Gabrielle Constance Hockett. Benjamin Henry Hodek. Angela Marie Holiday. Liam Henry Hoppy. Malik Ronald Hunter. Johnny Inthesone Jr. Mariella Elizabeth. Yara Molina. Christopher Adam Matthew Jeffrey. Olivia Grace Johnson. Tierra Marie Johnson. Brady Orlando Julian. Taylor Jane Kelly. Naya Nicole Kendrick. Kittest Malaku Kika. Lashaya Zicole Shanita King Johnson. Jaden Ann Knipp. Maxwell John Kruger. Chum Quinn Lum. Molly Noel Lancrete. Misa Mona Jean Larock. Kaylee Ann Suta Larson. Jose Armando Lizama Alvarado. Victor Anthony Limantitla Cidio. Sharice Nicole Yapa. Larry Alexis Lopez Servan. Amanda Luna Jimenez. Veronica Ann Lundquist. Yeah. Ruby Woolandari McDonald. <laughs> Felix David Maceo Sandoval. <laughs> Cameron James Branch McNabb. Antonio T. Maddox, Jr. Joseph Patrick Malik. Nalisa Davy Manikaran. Gabriela Augustina Marquina. 
Shelby Renee Mars. Cecilia Martinez. Christopher Noe Mayorga Camacho. Megan Faye McCartan. Matthew Thomas McGlynn. William Alexis Mejia. Jonathan Mejia Quintanilla. Elizabeth Ann Melson. Eleanor Grace Mihawk. Davis Lawrence Miles. Brandon Christopher Mingo. Austin Glenn Elsie Mischler. Fatih Ilyas Mohammed. Giovanni Ignacio Molina Escandon. Joaquin Molina Sanchez. Daisy Montano Aguilar. Sebastian A. Moore. Melody Morales Burgos. Rafael Morales Balbuena. Jose Daniel Moreno Guerrero. David Munoz Jr. Abdifata Ali Muridi. Raul Fernando Naula. Ira Nebab. Chelsea Carolyn Nichols. Emma Grace Nolenberger. There's Sue Ocampo. <laughs> Kyle Arnold Autofy. <laughs> Jose Alfredo Olande Barreto. <laughs> Alexander Olivares Guzman. Catherine Fernanda Ordonez. Yamalez Veronica Ordonez. Abigail Patricia Paul. Luis Fernando Para Delgado. Ashley Perez. Carol Merritt Perez Benitez. <laughs> Naomi Lachmi Prasad. Yusiliana Piloto Perojo. Juan Pablo Priego. <laughs> Philip Kerwin Paulus. Unique Angel Prophet. Jeremy Smith. 
Bull Krabic. Anissa Simone Rabiu. Constance Jane Reinhardt. Magdalena Ann Renlin. Eileen Virginia Reyes. Courtney Lee Rhines. Jocelyn Daniel Lee Rittenhouse. Jennifer Rodriguez Martinez. Delina Luis Rogers. Divinity Prashad Roland. Jared James Rutz. Yesenia Salazar. Jesse Sanchez. Johan Alexis Sanchez Lopez. Ryan Sanchez Salazar. Jacqueline Sanchez Vittle. Kendall Coes Senefer Jr. Geneva Sine. Alexander Santiago Iguanero. Catherine Grace Schnabel. Mary Jo Schultz. Evan Matthew Scribner. Filiberto Segura Martinez. Swapnil Shrestha. Nathaniel David Shirtliff. DeAndre Matias Sims. Melissa Omeg Sivansa. Jordan Riley Scoff. Taramati Souk. Jeffrey Soto. Jose Antonio Soto Ortiz. Talia Sunme Esquires. <laughs> Kathleen Stark. Jason Carnell Stewart Jr. Robert Taylor III.
Tyler Sakuntia Tiong. Zachary T. Tomoin. Elena Guadalupe Torres Ruiz. Stephen Anthony Torres. Linda Ann Tran. Nicholas Charles Almer. Stefania Valdivia Sandoval. Noah Salvatore Valento. Brian James Venal. Liseth Vasquez Flores. Jorge Vega Moreno. Patricia Vega Salmeron. Nancy Venegas Ortiz. Cynthia Chelsea Vergara. Andromeda Star Vetch. Patrick G. Voigt. Chateauvenea Siobhan Walters. Andrew Christopher Warren. Kevin Wells. Alexis White. Alexis Ann Whitney. Anthony DeAndre Williams. Kedrick Lamonte Williams, Jr. Emily Ann Woida. Javon Wright. Aaliyah Lynn Young. In a moment, we will dismiss this group of students for the last time. Our faculty will exit first and form a tunnel for our graduates to walk through, and we ask that you remain seated until all graduates have left this room. You can meet your graduates out in the foyer area. I ask the staff to please stand. Seniors, please stand. Are you all ready for me to dismiss class? Are you all ready for us to officially dismiss class? Are you ready to Millie Rock out of Richfield High School? Yeah. Class of 2017, class is officially dismissed.
Congratulations. Teachers, you may now.